Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie uh, ProPresenter and Mad Mapper together and make ProPresenter cue scenes in Mad Mapper. So a quick uh, backstory here. I'm using Mad Mapper, which is a uh, has several uses. I'm using it as a lighting software. So it's controlling my DMX lights and it's controlling a bunch of pixel lights that I have through a pixel brain from Holiday Coro. So I'm using Mad Mapper for lights. I have a bunch of scenes set up there. And I also use ProPresenter in my uh, live church environment. So what I want is when I click certain slides in ProPresenter, I want it to fire certain lighting scenes in Mad Mapper. So let's look at these settings and I'll show you how to set that up. So in Mad Mapper, we're going to go to Preferences and we're going to go to MIDI. You may have several MIDI sessions here. So I have this Network Pro 7 is a session that I set up for a different purpose for using playback to control ProPresenter. Uh, so in this case, I actually might want to disable this so that we don't get any weird cues from playback. But you should have a Mad Mapper in uh, MIDI session already in Mad Mapper. So you just want to make sure that that's enabled and click OK. Now on the ProPresenter side, we're going to go to ProPresenter settings and we're going to go to devices. So you may or may not already have a MIDI device and ProPresenter set up. I have this set up because I'm already using playback to automate my lyrics. So we're going to use the same MIDI connection. So if you don't have this, all you have to do is click the plus. So you're either going to add a MIDI session or we're going to edit the one we already have. So to edit the one I have, I'm going to disconnect it first and click settings. If this is your first time setting it up, you would just click auto reconnect and you would pick core MIDI device as your hardware. That's the built-in Mac. Um, MIDI device and that's your only option unless you have more advanced things set up All right, so I already have again. I mentioned the pro 7 uh, Session that's an audio MIDI session that I created uh, In the Mac audio MIDI sessions for playbacks purposes So, you know, we're gonna ignore that for now. We're looking for this mad mapper So we in this case we want a destination so we want pro presenter to send out MIDI commands and we want it to send to that Mad Mapper in port. So I'm going to enable that. Is a destination in ProPresenter? Enable Mad Mapper in. So that's going to send MIDI out. Okay, so now we're going to go back and we're going to reconnect that. Make sure we get the green connection. Now a couple of things to note here. If you are using ProPresenter to receive MIDI, so if you go to MIDI map, these are all the MIDI notes uh, that ProPresenter by default uses. So you can see that 0 through 30 are already used on the MIDI network, those MIDI notes. So you want to avoid those notes in Mad Mapper where you're going to get um, you know, things firing at different times. So we're going to start with um, 30 and above just because I know that we're not using that in ProPresenter. All right, so we're going to close this out. And on the Mad Mapper side, I already have a lot of this set up, so I'm just going to walk through it. Um, I have a bunch of scene, uh, lighting scenes here set up and you would right click on one and you would say add control and you would say MIDI. Now I already have that set up so I'm going to edit the MIDI control. So if I edit that MIDI control, you can see that column one, row one, which is the lighting scene that I want, it lets you pick your MIDI note. So in this case, I'm going to choose MIDI note 30. So you could just go by the numbers because in ProPresenter, it's going to let you pick a number. You don't have to worry too much about the notes and the actives and all that stuff. So we'll pick MIDI note 30 for uh, this scene. All right. And I'm going to make it so we can see both of these. All right. So on the ProPresenter side, I have... Uh, this video cue here, let's actually do this uh, blank announcements cue just, just to uh, illustrate here. So when I fire this slide, I want it to fire this lighting scene. So I'm going to right click on the slide, 
go to add action, communication, MIDI, MIDI note on, and you just want to match your settings. So we use channel one in Mad Mapper, so we're going to keep that at channel one, and we use note 30, so I'm going to pick 30, and then the intensity just has to be higher than zero. All right, so that added that MIDI control here. So now if we fire this slide, it should fire my all black lighting scene in Mad Mapper. So I'm going to fire that and we should see it fire over here. And there we go. So now we have the connection working between ProPresenter and Mad Mapper to fire those light scenes when you click on a slide in ProPresenter. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.